This is the only rust base you ever need. And the best part about it is it all starts from one little triangle. This base works for solos, duos, trios, or quads. Could probably even squeeze more in in its open core design. But this is the base that's kept my loot safe for the past few wipes and I had to share it with you guys. Let's go on a little tour here. So, you go in the gate here. And then the second you walk in, right here could be some more honeycomb. You could easily add more here. Got your oil refineries out here. Got room for whatever else you may want or need to do out here. And then inside, all of these right here could be armored doors as well. They don't have to be garage doors. Got a locker and a box right here for quick gun access and whatnot, a drop box. Got your extra workbenches up here if you don't have all blueprints yet. Some more storage over here, another locker, fridge, repair bench, everything you need jump up right here to the next floor some more storage right here which I did a very poor job on on this server it doesn't have to look this bad down the ladder hatch to core you got a whole open core design some of these could be replaced with armored doors for sure like these right here um, over here I guess probably needs to be garage doors to make it so you can get up and out and one of my favorite parts is you can really put the TC anywhere. The TC could be over here, so next wipe, you know, if you're playing on the same server against the same people, you can put TC in a different spot. They would never expect it. Moving on up to the roof now. Now, I usually don't add a windowed shooting floor. I usually just add a second story like so. You can put whatever you might need up here. Got a ladder hatch right here to jump up to the shooting floor. Like I said, you could add another story, a windowed shooting floor, but I just go straight to the roof like so. And that's pretty much the gist of the base. Now, let me show you how to build it. Everything's gonna start from this one triangle here. Then you put down another triangle, a full square, two more triangles right there. Really, for the starter base, it's just gonna start with these two little triangles right here. Make sure you don't put single doors either, unless it's gonna be a solo only base. Make sure you put the full door frame. Put a half wall here so you can put a, a loot storage room right here. Go ahead and box all this in. Door frame there, a square there, walls around there. Like I said, you can put TC really anywhere over there, over here, make the loot room over here, back there, but that's really the jump up, so I guess there's only a few spots, but still, you can move it around. Finish making the loot room right here, put floors, get rid of the bottom piece down there, like so, put roofs above all this, and yeah, you got the footprint of the little anchor base right here. Looks like an anchor kind of, doesn't it? Now to make the jump up. I always put my furnaces right there, workbench on the other side, use the workbench to jump up, workbench there, hop up like so, walls around here, door frame, ceiling, make all this walls, now really you could change where you jump up at too, I'm turning this into the jump up to the next floor, you could also make the entrance to the base right here down around that side instead of making it right here like how I do then hop down and trying to make your way in triangle half wall floor get rid of the half wall keep adding foundations go all the way around with it I don't make the base like all the way around like walking around inside I use this as honeycomb over here you can add even more honeycomb on top of it like I was showing in the tour of the base continue going all the way around like I said you can do whatever with this I always use this it's just honeycomb back here make all this honeycomb like so you don't want all these soft sides. <laughs> Put a roof on it now. Now it's time to add the entrance. Put down a triangle foundation. Add two single door frames for an airlock. Armor doors, of course. Probably not gonna start out with armor doors though. Go ahead and wall it all in now. And then over here, you can do whatever loot room. Put a roof over all of it, of course. And then for this instance, this time I'm gonna turn this room into a locker room. Quick access to kids. Also just gonna chuck down one drop box just in case. 
can never have enough storage really then time to finish up the second floor here just like the first floor it's really up to you what you want to do with it i don't make the whole second floor open i use it once again as honeycomb only have access to a little bit of it you can really see how this anchor is turning into a big old oval now and the coolest part is most people who build a base they put tc in the dead center on here tc's not in the dead center you blow all the way down and uh, you're gonna get to pretty much nothing right here Finish walling all this in. Go ahead and honeycomb off the back first. Roof over everything, of course. then it's looking pretty solid now as you can see there's plenty of room inside the base here to put really any and everything you need core fully open though easy to get around inside there add door frames to all this downstairs with the door frames now now on to making the second story you can really make it as big as you want i usually don't enclose the whole entire base into the second story just a smaller inner portion of it Make your jump up right here, half wall, triangle. Make sure your walls aren't backwards, of course, like mine are. Time to add some roof to this place. And then it's really up to you if you want to go up another story or so or not. I usually don't go up too many stories because I usually play solo or at most a duo. Could easily add a windowed shooting floor above this or make this a windowed shooting floor. But like I said, I go from this usually to roof, roof, then just like so, add the roofing. I forgot to add the triangle foundation thing for the ladder hatch there before I added that. Make sure you do that before you add the roofing. And then this is basically what the base is going to be looking like. If it's a solo or a duo, I'm not really going to have much more than this. Now, if it's trio or up, I'm going to add a little bit of expansion. Make sure there's some more honeycomb on the outside and whatnot. Definitely want to make sure you get these walls and whatnot armored right here. Because if somebody blows through the front door, they're going to continue to go through doors probably instead of trying to pummel through the armored wall right there. And it's going to make it just that much more expensive i actually haven't even done the math on how expensive this base is i just build bases for real if you guys know how expensive this is let me know down in the comments below and also if you're hearing me say this i lived in a variation of this base in my very first video check that out if you haven't already here is where you could add the extra honeycomb if you really wanted to I'm gonna start slapping down the boxes in the loot room here. This is gonna be the main loot room. If you're running solo or a duo, you probably won't need much more loot storage than this anyway. Put some boxes over here on this side and just line the floor with them, really. Put some more over here. Put a locker right here. Really, whatever you wanna put right there. More boxes underneath the tier three. Put down another furnace because why not? Go ahead and start putting your doors down. And remember, this whole base started from this little triangle right over here. That's one of my favorite ways to build bases, is build fully modular bases that start off small and then, you know, can expand into a whole massive fortress without having to move on to a main base, really. Moving along up here, I love this porcelain door, I don't know about you guys. Ladder hatch there, downstairs with the doors now. You could easily make all of these double doors or double armor doors or even single doors around here if you really wanted to. Not all of them, but yeah, it's just up to how many people is going to be in here, how open you want it to be. This area is one of the only choke points along with this area right here. Then you can start decorating over here. So obviously you got your main workbench downstairs is your way to jump up. Over here, if you don't have all the BPs yet, you can put down the rest of the workbenches. Over here, you can put down another locker. Put down a fridge plenty of room for even a research table here also a repair bench this right here i usually turn into another loot room I'll just put random stuff up here but uh yeah it usually does not look this bad <laughs> i usually try to put some thought into it why not put down another chest in the jump up head on upstairs put down some more doors here got down the ladder hatch there now there's only a few things left one of them turning the base to metal here and then the next one, putting down large walls. Now, the large walls, make sure you leave some room for some extra honeycomb if you want to add some extra honeycomb. If not, make that bitch tied up against the base. But as you can see, I left plenty of room for honeycomb just in case here. And if you suck like I do, always keep an extra wall on you because that gate's not going to fit that first try. <laughs> 
Now, one of the last things is putting out your final deployables on the outside. I usually don't do large furnaces anymore, just where refineries I like to use the electric furnaces. You need charcoal, just put down a bunch of regular furnaces. In that, it's really going to complete the anchor base. It starts out looking like a little anchor and ends up looking like uh, this big old purple monstrosity here. There's many, many different ways you can build this base too. TC could go among many different places and you could make this thing as tall as you needed to as well. Almost forgot on the right over there resources needed and then in the tc right here cost per 24 hours super cheap now if you want to see me live in a variation of this base check out my first video it'll be linked in the comments and in the description that's gonna wrap it up for this one don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one